The Xbox Switch is real, you can play your games on the go on the Xbox, and it looks like a Nintendo Switch. I'm gonna show you how, right here. I have an Xbox Switch. Actually, I've got a Razer Phone 2 and the Jungle Cat controller. Now, the Jungle Cat controller I mentioned is one of the best gaming Android controllers out there. We'll play Android games effectively with ease. I love that controller, it's so good. It's now been updated so you can actually play your Xbox uh, games on Xbox uh, xCloud, Project xCloud. Uh, now, this is really cool. Now, a couple things you do need, of course, is a Jungle Cat controller. Compatible cases for this are the Razer Phone 2, Galaxy S10 Plus, and the Galaxy Note 9. There will be more cases as, uh, of course, things progress. Now, it's pretty easy, but before we even get in the setup, taking a look at the Jungle Cat controller itself, it has, of course, a bridge, uh, which you have the Joy-Cons attached to it. Uh, each controller or Joy-Con is uh, powered by, has a USB Type-C port. There is a switch for each controller. Uh, you now have, of course, uh, your uh, thumbstick buttons at the very top, so it's kind of like reverse PlayStation style. You've got a D-pad, you've got a select on the left, uh, uh, Joy-Con on the right Joy-Con, X, Y, B, A buttons, uh, of course, start button. Then you've got shoulder and trigger buttons. LED indicators on each one to tell you it's powered on. Now, the best way, and this is the only way right now currently to make sure you can play uh, Project X Cloud on your smartphone is simply this. Take the left Joy-Con, turn it on, make sure the right is off, and connect that via Bluetooth. When it's connected with the left Joy-Con first, you are good to go. Now, the other thing I did, I'm not sure it's necessary, but I did it anyway because my buddy, uh, Gameski, said this is how he got his setup working, and I did the same thing. Power on an Android game, like Asphalt 9. Oh, make sure you also connect, uh, turn on the second controller. It automatically connects both to each other. But power on Asphalt 9 through the GamePad app. This is the app that, of course, is used to update a controller. You can also use it to remap your buttons for Android games. But you can go ahead and power a game like Asphalt 9. Make sure the game's on, boots up. Once the game's booted up, you can go out of that, go back into, you can go back into the app to go to the game streaming app X for xCloud, or you can just go open up the xCloud app, and boom, your controller now works with it. You can navigate through the screens, uh, you go ahead and select your game you wanna play, and you can start playing those games. And it looks so good, the fact that you can play this. Now, if you don't know anything about xCloud, I have an xCloud video, go check that out, but xCloud, xCloud comes with 50 games built in. New games like Gears of War 5 is there, uh, Forza Horizon 4, uh, you've got uh, sorry, you've got uh, NFL 2020, you've also got Tekken 7 in there, uh, Shadow, uh, the new Tomb Raider game. So a bunch of games are on there, which are great to see and play, but you can also stream directly from your Xbox. So if you have an Xbox at home and if you have Game Pass, then you've got a huge library of games. It's really easy to go ahead selecting, uh, of course, uh, your Xbox console, and you're streaming across from there. Now, that is amazing, but I can keep talking. I want you to actually see some gameplay here. I'm going to show you a couple of clips. You're gonna see, of course, Gears of War 5, which I'm streaming from xCloud and using the controller to play on this thing. And then also, you're gonna see Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Yes, I'm playing on my smartphone, Call of Duty, which is great. I'm playing that on here, and that's actually streamed from my Xbox. And you see some Tekken 7 and a few others, but just enjoy.
So yeah, that is pretty cool. And the fact that I can stream my games and it just flows really well. Uh, if you notice, I was not at home when I did that. I wanna give a big shout out to uh, you know the Unlocker, Mr. Mobile for me. Let me use their studio to actually do some recording there. So I can actually simulate that I'm away from my home to of course do some gameplay. Now, of course it varies from uh, your connection. So if you have a really good connection, if you've got fiber, it works well. If you've got 5G as well, that will do well. LTE, it does still work well on LTE. Now, this will work with uh, the Xbox Series X coming out next year. That's Microsoft's next-gen console. They gave us the name officially yesterday at the, uh, the Games Awards show. And this thing is powerful, up to 12 teraflops, I believe. Uh, it's four times more powerful than, than the Xbox One X right now. Uh, we're expecting to see 4K60 standard, uh, as well as also the giving us uh, probably 4K120 and even uh, 4, uh, 8K30, which 
I don't know how they're gonna do that, but that looks amazing. Uh, it's, it's cylindrical, the design is for better airflow. There's a new controller uh, that has a better D-pad and a dedicated chair button. But a lot of features in this thing they haven't told us about, but we do know it's using an AMD uh, custom Zen 2 processor. So we have to wait and see. But I'm excited to, to see what we have and see some of the games like, of course, you know, Sanzu uh, Saga Hellblade 2, which look really weird and crazy. But being able to play games like that, including um, Halo Infinity, like as you see me here, on my smartphone using the Jungle Cat will be an awesome experience and I can't wait to try it out. So if you wanna do that too, I'll have a link for you guys down below to pick up the Jungle Cat so you can go ahead and start gaming the way you want to game. It's an awesome controller. It works for Android games. It works for this as well. It's pretty cool. All right, guys, thank you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and Always enjoy your entertainment.